Why do you heat a blank in exams? And what can you do when you heat that blank? I'm going to use Dr. Daniel Siegel's very simple explanation of how your brain works using my hand. If this is your spine coming up here, inside your brain you'll find your limbic system or your emotional brain. And inside your emotional brain is your amygdala, that's your alarm system of your body, your fight, flight, freeze or faint alarm system of your body. And also you'll also find your hippocampus where your memories are stored. And then at the back of your brain is how you perceive the outside world. Here on top is your thinking brain or your rational brain. That's where what you study is stored here in your thinking brain. Right here in front, behind your forehead, is where emotional connections happen. And then last to develop, right here behind your eyes, deep inside your brain, is your CEO or your prefrontal cortex. And your prefrontal cortex um, controls emotions and impulsivity. And because a teenager's prefrontal cortex is not fully developed yet, your emotional brain must keep you safe. But that causes you to be very trigger happy. Your alarm, your amygdala pops left, right and center. So what happens when you sit in the exam and you read your, go through your questions and you get to question number seven and oh, no, what is this? Oh, I can't remember, I can't remember, but I did, it's on your right hand side of the page, but I can't remember what, and you start hyperventilating. So what happened? Your amygdala thinks this is a life and death situation. So, so your body has uh, um, released adrenaline your heart rate is very high, your blood pressure is high. And all the blood is drained from your digestive system and it went to your arms and your legs. Why? So that you can run or fight in a dangerous situation. And your thinking brain has pulled away. So what must you do? Because your um, brain thinks this is a life and death situation. So you put down your pen, and you just close your eyes and um, it takes 90 seconds, one and a half minutes. Because we've got control over our alarm system. You can tell your alarm system this is not a life and death situation. So you put down your pen and you close your eyes, one and a half minute, and you see a box in front of you. You inhale one side. And you keep in your breath and you exhale to your side. So you inhale, keep in, exhale to your side. Why is it important to exhale slower and longer? Because by exhaling long, as longer and slower, it brings your heart rate down. That's your and then your adrenaline levels come down. And then your amygdala can realize this is not a life and death situation. It can go back into its resting place and your thinking brain that has pulled away can come back. And if you did study what was on the right hand side of the page, you will be able to continue with your exam paper. And please remember the ABC of um, studying for exams, apply but to G. And remember, also this will pause.